Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Ma. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive weekend. You know what I mean? I'm kicking back, watching some fights, man. Watching UFC 300. You know what I mean? Watching this top ranked card that has a uh, big baby, Jared Anderson as the main event and stuff like that. But I had to take a step back, you know, and address this situation that had just happened on social media. You know what I mean? Because I felt like it was pretty much important. And it has to do with Ryan Garcia, man. Ryan Garcia has been out here talking crazy. You know what I mean? It seems like he's back on his little cuckoo type of time. You know what I mean? Which is pretty convenient because, you know, we're about a week away from the fight at this point in time. And, um, you know, he's talking about all the women that, you know, he's been messing with and, you know what I mean, all these girls being in his DMs and stuff like that. But I guess he had went on a chat room on Twitter, you know what I mean, X, whatever you want to call it, and he was chopping it up with the fans. And um, one of the fans had asked Ryan Garcia, what's going on with Earl Spence? And he simply responded by saying, fuck Earl Spence. You know what I mean, which caught a lot of people off guard in the chat room, myself included. You see what I mean? And, um... You know, one of the one of the fans that was in the group chat or the chat room or whatever has said, is it because he's no longer with Derrick James? And he said, yeah. You know what I mean? He said it was because, you know, he wasn't with Derrick James. And if you ain't with Derrick James, then fuck you. So he doubled down on it. You know what I mean? He didn't take it back. And he, you know, stated the exact reason why he felt that way. You know what I mean? He said that because he's no longer with Derrick James and the reason why he's no longer with Derrick James is because of the money issue. So all of the rumors that have been coming out as to why Derrick James and uh, Earl Spence have split up is it, seeming to be true. You know what I mean? I don't see a reason why Ryan Garcia would lie about that situation. You know, they shared uh, 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 the same trainer at one point in time. So I'm sure he's getting information that the public isn't really getting at this point in time. I don't think that he will lie on a situation that uh, his trainer is currently going through. You know what I mean? He may be clout chasing a certain aspects and, you know, lying about these different women that he that's in his DM. You know, he could possibly be lying about that. But in terms of, you know, lying on his own trainer, Derrick James, I don't think that's something that he would necessarily do. I don't think that he's I don't think he's that crazy. You know what I mean? So this is pretty much bringing confirmation of what everybody has been speculating. Seems like Derrick James and Earl Spence are split. And the reason why they are split is because of a money situation. And Ryan Garcia had went on to say, um, how am I paying Derrick James more when I'm making less than what Earl Spence made in his last fight? Which is a great point, man. Um, you know, and, and if this is true, man, if it's a fact that Ryan Garcia is actually playing Derrick James more than what Earl Spence did in the biggest fight of his career against Terrence Crawford, then that's highly unfortunate. You know what I mean? And it's sad that, you know, Earl Spence has taken this approach with his trainer. This is somebody that's been training him since he was an amateur, since this man had nothing. You know what I mean? Before he went on to this road of becoming unified, welterweight champion of the world and being one of the biggest names in the entire sport of boxing and essentially becoming a star in the sport of boxing, man. It's sad that, you know, Derry James took you all the way up to the top, helped you get to the top. You know what I mean? Regardless of all your situations, he stuck with you through the car accidents and all the different situations that you had going on. People were counting you out. You know what I mean? And, you know, after losing to Terrence Crawford, you, you obtaining your first loss in your pro career. Now, all of a sudden, you don't want to pay the man what he deserves. And then you step away from him as a result of, you know, having a money dispute. You know what I mean? I'm sure that's something that's definitely uh, fixable. You know what I mean? That's something that have that could have definitely been fixed. You know, you've done multiple pay-per-views, and I never heard an issue with you paying Derrick James by any stretch of the imagination. I never heard no rumors about y'all splitting up. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm assuming that, you know, you was paying the man what he deserved, or at least what he was asking for in the pay-per-views with, you know, Mikey Garcia, Sean Porter, you know what I mean, Danny Garcia, your Dennis Ugas. But all of a sudden, when you take an L, um, all of a sudden, that money's nowhere to be found in Derrick James' bank account. It makes me scratch my head at that situation, man. So I'm definitely judging Earl for this. You know what I mean? I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, and I was waiting for more information to come out. But since Ryan Garcia has came out and publicly, you know, aired out their personal business, you know what I mean? It's fucked up. You know what I mean? I would have rather have heard the information from Derrick James or Earl Spence when the time was uh, appropriate. But, you know, I can't help that Ryan Garcia ratted out the situation. You know what I mean? And I believe this dude. You know what I mean? I genuinely believe this dude. And um, it's, de it's definitely making me view Earl Spence in a different light. I always looked at Earl Spence as somebody who was a stand-up individual, somebody who, uh, you know, stood on business. You know what I mean? And was just a man of his word, loyal to the core, in all honesty. But, you know, after this situation right here, um, it, it makes me look at Earl as if he's a snake, man. 
You know what I mean? I'm sorry. And me being a trainer, I would hate to be Derrick James in that situation, man. That has to be absolutely heartbreaking. You know what I mean? Because y'all both built the name off of each other. You know, Derrick James wouldn't be the name that he is in the sport of boxing if it wasn't for Earl. And, you know, the same thing could be possible, vice versa. Who knows if Earl Spence had a different trainer um, if his career would have turned out this way? Because trainers are very capable of fucking up fighters' careers as they go about things, you know, in an improper fashion. You see what I mean? So, um... I don't know exactly what the situation is or how much he cut Derrick James out of, but uh, it's, it's a very unfortunate situation, man. So uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. It seems like Ryan Garcia has aired out Earl Spencer's and Derrick James' dirty laundry, um, pretty much confirming the split. And the reason why they split was because of money, man. Um, really, really unfortunate situation. It seems like that's very common um, amongst boxers. At a high level, you know, we seen Triple G do it with Abel Sanchez when he got that big the zone deal. We seen Daniel Jacobs do it with Andre Rozier. They ended up, you know, uh, making amends and getting back in the mix with each other. But we seen it happen with Daniel Jacobs and Andre Rozier. Uh, we've seen it time and time and time again, man. And it just sucks that trainers have to go through this type of situation. And it seems like nobody in the sport of boxing gets fucked over more than the boxing trainer. Everybody always talks about what the boxers go through and, and things like that, but nobody ever really talks about what trainers go through. You know what I mean? It seems like they're the least protected people in the sport of boxing. It seems like managers have contracts that protect them. You know, promoters have contracts that protect them and shit like that. And, you know, boxers have contracts that could protect that could protect them. However, it seems like trainers, you know, are pretty much left, you know what I mean, in the dust and could be fucked over at any point in time, man. So. Um, it's an unfortunate situation, man. You know what I mean? I hope Derry James keeps his head up, and I hope that he gets what he deserves. You know what I mean? In terms of being financially compensated from what I've heard, you know what I mean? It might be taken to court or something like that, or Derrick James is suing Earl Spence. I hope he gets every dollar. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, Earl, that, that, Earl James, that Earl Spence feels like he didn't have to pay him. I hope that Derrick James get every single penny from that man. You know what I mean? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. This is Mazuma TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.